सो हेलो है एवरी वन लेट एस सॉल्व द मैकेनिकल मेटलाइजी क्वेश्चन ऑफ के टू थाउजेंड टेन द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज द इंजीनियरिंग स्ट्रेस स्ट्रेन कर फॉर ए सेरामिक मटेरियल इज सो इट इज आस्किंग फॉर ए सेरामिक मटेरियल सो वी नो दैट दिस सेरामिक मटेरियल इज ए ब्रिटल मटेरियल सो एवरी ब्रिटल मटेरियल हैज वेरी लेस प्लास्टिसिटी और नो प्लास्टिसिटी सो वेन वी डो नॉट हैव एनी प्लास्टिसिटी दैट मीन्स इट विल ब्रेक at this point without showing any plasticity right so it will just behave like a elastic material so it will be just a linear curve not this parabolic or this exponential exponential not this logarithmic so it will be only linear right next number of slip systems in an ideal closed pack hexagonal structure is so i think we have discussed this so hexagonal has the basal plane as the slip plane right so slip plane looks like this right and the directions we have three directions so one direction is this one another is this one and third one is this one right like a1 a2 and a3 we mark so one plane and three directions so three slip system okay <coughs> So option A. Next, a square of nine mm square area is subjected to simple shear displacement. Simple shear displacement. Okay, root three mm along x direction. So root three mm is the <coughs> displacement as shown below. The shear strain imparted will be. Okay, so we need to find the shear strain. So the shear strain which happens over here. so that is defined in terms of the displacement divided by the height so now if you see this diagram so initially it was of square right and the area is 9 mm square so that is equal to a square so we can find the side that is 3 mm so initially this was of 3 mm now after the shear strain applying of some shear stress we got some shear strain and this movement we have got around point uh, root uh, root over 3 mm right so this is your displacement and this is your 3 mm is your height right this is your d so this shear strain we can write like d by h so basically it will be root 3 by 3 so 1 by root 3 okay so option b will be the correct answer okay now let us proceed if the true stress strain curve for a ductile material is represented by the equation sigma equal to 1100 epsilon to the power 0.20 right so we have sigma equal to 1100 epsilon to the power 0.2 okay so guys uh, for this type of question since we know that the true stress strain curve goes something like this okay this is the elastic part then it moves further upward and if you have the engineering stress strain curve then it is somewhat like this right now <clears throat> in this true stress strain curve the ultimate tensile strength we cannot predict okay but it follows a equation something like this that is given as sigma equal to 1100 epsilon to the power 0.20 right so we need to find the ultimate tensile strength in the engineering context right so <clears throat> we know here that whenever the uts is followed so at that point of time the strain is equal to the strain hardening coefficient okay strain hardening exponent the strain is equal to the strain hardening exponent that is this strain will be equal to n and what is n over here n is equal to 0.20 because we know we write this equation sigma equal to k epsilon to the power n right so we will find what is the <coughs> engineering state so let's 
to calculate that let us first calculate what is the true stress over there the true stress can be calculated as sigma equal to 1100 epsilon you put it as equal to 0 0.20 to the power 0 0.20 right do the calculation So it will be 797.25, right? And we know the formula that is the true stress is equal to engineering stress that is sigma naught and 1 plus E, okay? 1 plus E is the engineering strain. And we also know the relation between engineering strain and the uh, true strain, right? So what is the formula? So from there, we will find this E value, right? So we can find like <coughs> true strain is equal to ln 1 plus e, right? Guys, we need here 1 plus e. So we, we can just find here 1 plus e. That is equal to e to the power epsilon. So e to the power epsilon is how much? 0 0.20, right? So in the next case, we will put this value over here. And I am doing the calculation over here. So, sigma is equal to sigma naught 1 plus e equal to e to the power 0 0.20. So, sigma naught equal to sigma. Sigma, how much we have got? 797.25 divided by e to the power 0 0.20. So, let us find this divided by to the power 0 0.20 so it is 652.73 652 so the correct answer will be 653 mp if you take the approximate okay <coughs> so by this you can find over here next question an aluminium alloy rod of diameter 15 mm and length 120 mm okay so this is your diameter 15 mm and length is 120 mm okay is subjected to a tensile load of 35000 newton what is the force 35000 newton right along its axis the young modulus and Poisson ratio for aluminium are E is equal to 70 GPA, Poisson ratio is 0.33. The reduction in diameter on the application of the tensile load is okay. <clears throat> so we have this aluminium rod, and suppose I am elongating it with the some force, so there will be a reduction in the diameter. So that reduction in the diameter will be related to the elongation in this x direction or the axis direction with the help of this Poisson ratio right so that's why the Poisson ratio is given over here okay so the strain in x direction first we will find so the strain is equal to <coughs> see the strain up to the elastic limit okay because here the load is such that here the assumption is that this is getting deformed up to the elastic limit right because Poisson ratio is valid up to the elastic limit only right so we have something like this right and the force is 35 newton and what is the strain or the elongation we don't know right now so that we will find so the we know that stress equal to elastic limit into strain so strain will be equal to stress by elastic limit so ex is equal to stress so how much will be the stress but we are given with the load so we can calculate the stress by dividing load with the area right so 35000 divided by area 
to find area we will take the cross sectional area so diameter it is given 15 mm so what will be the area pi d square by 4 so just put it 3.14 into d square so 15 square by 4 and it is in mm right so mm if you convert it into meter right and since this is area so <coughs> mm square will be converted into meter square so 1 mm is equal to 10 power minus 3 so here it will be 10 power minus 6 right divided by the elastic one so elastic constant it is that is also called a young modulus it is 70 gpa so 70 gpa means 10 power 9 pascal right so let me just do the calculation Three point one four fifteen square into ten power minus six so this is two point eight three zero into ten power minus three. Okay, so this is the strain in x direction. So what will be the strain in the y direction that is the transverse direction because that will give the reduction in the diameter right. <coughs> so that is related at mu is equal to strain in transverse direction that is epsilon t divided by epsilon x. This epsilon t is equal to mu times of epsilon x. So mu is equal to 0 0.33 into 2.830 into 10 power minus 3. So we will multiply this with 0 0.33. So it is 9.341 into 10 power minus 4. So this is the strain. And we know the strain is equal to the change in the diameter divided by the original diameter, right? <coughs> And this strain will be negative because the, there will be reduction of that. Okay. So the change in diameter that is delta d equal to d into this strain. So d is how much? 15 mm into 9.341 into 10 power minus 4. So just if you multiply here a 15. So I have got 0 0.014. 0, 1, 4, and this will be in mm right because d here i have taken in mm so 0 0.014 mm right so it matches with option b right so it matches with option b okay fine now, now let us proceed for the next the elastic strain energy is approximately i see <coughs> To find the elastic strain energy that means we need to find the area of this right so how can we find so i am doing the calculation over here only so suppose area is equal to half into this stress value into this strain value right so half into this strain value is how much strain value sorry stress value we have this one so 35000 divided by 3.14 into 15 square by 4 10 power minus 6 into strain strain we had calculated 2.2.83 2 into 10 power minus 3 this is one thing or you can also do half into sigma <coughs> sigma you can write elastic modulus into strain so it can be elastic modulus into strain square right so any formula you can take so i'm just doing the calculation 1 by 2 into 35000 divided by 3.14 into 15 square by 4 into 
10 to the power minus 6 then all multiply by 2.830 into 10 to the power minus 3 so I have got 2803961 so what will be the unit of this it will be basically joule <coughs> see the stress it will be MPA right that is force per meter square and strain has got no unit so it will be like Newton per meter square so can we write it as so we can write it as 280.3 kilo Newton mm square right can we write it as joule per meter cube yes fine so this is around 280 so here option c this was the solution so hope it will help you for your gate preparation so thanks all